Hi guys and welcome back to Gothic Magic. I promised you that I would not light the doom candle without you. So I have gone ahead and I have prepped it. I have put pictures of both targets. I haven't written the names yet because I don't want that to be for everybody to know. But there are pictures of each target. I have, there are two. I've written a petition in red ink. It, the inside part's facing the inside and the outside just says return all of the negative energy back to these two people and I drew a pen, little pentagram but um, try not to send back more than they deserve trying my best just to send what they deserve nothing more nothing less but it's hard when you're as mad as I am right now so if it's more, I have done a protection candle. I'll explain to you how I did that. I've already lit it. Um, it's been charging on Hecate's altar. It's got some Hecate oil, my own protection oil. You guys can see my hands are shaking. I'm so pissed. So I've decided to light this bad boy up. So I'm going to write their names on the front now with red colored pencil. I've heard people say to use black. I feel like using red. I just feel like red is the color of hate for me right now. So I'm putting their names first, middle, and last. Excuse me while I write these. So the names are on there. I've added some stuff. I've added some crushed red pepper. I've added some black peppercorns. Now I've got my gloves on because I'm about to add this doom oil and I don't know what the hell's in it. I know it has steak, snake skin, but it's probably got some sulfur and hot foot powder. It better have all that stuff in it. So I'm gonna give this 13 shakes before I drops. I've stabbed the shit out of this candle with my athame, so it should go down easily. I'm going to save enough to do a follow-up candle if I have to. When I say drops, I mean squirts. About half the bottle is going to be in here. My cups were deep enough so that will settle down in there. So it's ready to go. It's ready to go. I'm going to charge it with a little more hate while I sit here and talk. Um, for my protection, I have um, five white candles here. I have this one that is going to burn right next to it for the, for the duration of the burn. I have some selenite, my little selenite wand to help protect me. Um, I have been lighting this crap out of Palo Santo um, just to keep cleansing myself over and over and over and over and over and keep it burning. And I even got out the sage. And I don't believe in using white sage. I stopped using this as soon as I heard about how much the Native Americans are suffering because of us using up all their damn sage. So quit using white sage. You can use cedar. You can use the Palo Santo wood. Use anything else. Use Florida water. But on this occasion, I'm going to be lighting up the sage because I feel that sage does. I have Native American in me as well. And I feel that it it does help. So I'll be burning the sage during this time. Um, but I light this candle and then I'm going to clean the heck out of myself afterward. So we got all that going. So for protection, I feel like I'm good. Got my protection candle. Got these white ones going. I've got a, um, my, I even made a new witch's jar. It's on 
Conte's altar charging with a white candle. I'm not going to show that because that's kind of secret. How I do it is a little bit different than everybody else. Um, but I've got this and I'm just going to sit here and meditate for a second. And I'm going to light this motherfucker up. Get away from me. I don't want good things getting on this candle yet. I'm going to give it some witch's breath. Do you guys know how to do that? You breathe out three times and then on that on that last part, it's that last light. It just comes from your gut breath. And there's the witch's breath. And I think that's enough. And I'm using matches for the sulfur. Might be hard with these gloves on, but I don't want to touch this candle any more than I have to. I'm already going to have to cleanse the hell out of my athame, but I just started stabbing it. I was going to use something else. Let's get that stink of the sulfur in there. We'll leave that match in there, too. But I also um, have some bugs I forgot to put in there, but I'll drop them in there in a minute. So I'm going to add some bugs and fuck these people. Fuck these people. So there's the doom candle. And you want to burn it with, I'm not an expert at these by any means. <laughs> Never done one. Don't need to usually. I don't get this mad, but um, I'm going to let this burn right beside this one. Um, I will continue to burn white, white candles downstairs. I will continue to sage myself. I'm getting ready. It's a full moon is why I picked tonight. I might even stick them outside for a little while. Um, I did call Hecate in to help me with justice work, invoked her um, prior to this. So I'm hoping that um, everything will turn out right and not too bad for these people. But whatever the universe wants them to get, they will get. And that's just what's going to happen to them. So... Here is the doom candle. I'll cover the names. I may have accidentally even showed them to you a minute ago, but there's that. This is a different one. I didn't want to get the one that like set all the stuff because I wanted to put the intent into this. I didn't want it, you know, to be, you know, predestined or anything like that. So, but I did not cleanse it when I got it because it said it was charged with negativity. So however they charge it with negativity, I thought I would leave it in there. Because it was from a reliable source that I heard has good candles for this purpose. But um, that's all I have, guys. I'm going to light some cedar when I finish. And then um, cleanse myself again with the, with the sage, the white sage, and then the Palo Santo. And then I'm going to go take a Florida water moon bath um, with my Florida water soap. And then I'm going to also be putting some sea salt I have made a sea salt barrier against the door in the room that I'm doing this in so that nothing gets out. Um, if I do take this candle with me out of this room, I don't I don't think I'll do that. I may put it in the window sill so it can get some full moonlight on it, but that's what I'm gonna do, guys. So if you do these, make sure you have your white candle for protection, your cedar, your Palo Santo, your sage, but please. Don't buy white sage. I was going to do a separate video on that, and I may still, but it's a cultural appropriation. We don't need to do that. We've got our other message, methods of cleansing, and they use that and that alone. So if you can clean it, cleanse your energy with something else, please do. And that's what I'm going to do um, after this bundle of sage is gone. I will never buy sage again. I'm going to plant my own sage and see if I can get it to grow. But now I'm ranting about sage while I just lit a doom candle. So, we'll see what happens, and I will keep you guys updated on Twitter, um, and then I will make a video after I feel the work is done. If it is not done, I have enough doom oil and other ingredients that I use to make plenty more candles. I don't need to even buy any more specialized doom candles because I've got the oil and all the other stuff. I can just make them and keep on going until 
they until they have received their punch. I will I will wait a moon cycle until I fuck with them again. I'll wait a moon cycle, but you know that's that's all I'm gonna wait. If it if if, if nothing is happening still and they're not suffering enough, then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Um, I've already done you know a couple things, but I. And I'm going to sit this on that mirror that I used when I did a previous return to cinder spell on them. I just can't find it right now, but when I do sit it to burn, I'm not exactly sure in this room where I'm going to leave it. Um, but I'm going to put a um, mirror under there. What was that? I just heard the weirdest noise. Maybe it's a cottage warning me. I hope it is. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching Gothic Magic. And so mote it be motherfuckers and to you guys blessed be until we meet again happy full moon guys bye